you, Keyser, and welcome back to The Simpsons Tapped Out. Well, it's time for a brand new update in the game. We got good old Diamond Joe Quimby here talking about something. Let's see what we got. And of course, this video will be the overview for the first act. And there are usually four acts in total. I, Joe Quimby, am once again running for mayor of Springfield to save you all from America's hating traitors in our midst. By which I mean anyone who disagrees with me or criticizes me. Mayor Quimby, you're running unopposed. Why are you embracing such negative, divisive rhetoric? What can I say? My Q rating is down and anger sells. Besides, no one's running against me. This proves the other side hates democracy. There's a caravan heading away from North Haverbrook. Why do you think they call them Ogdenvillians? Shelbyville will pay for the moat. Oh, brother. All right, that's an interesting start. Stump speech. At least appeal to human decency. That's not happening. Vote Quimby. Ah, uh, are all these people voting? Well, well, we find job the doing. administration will focus on the three R's: reading, writing, and refilling the ocean. Thank you very much. Are we really saying that in the home of the brave, people would rather just be scared and angry than embrace hope and peace? It's cute that you think that it has ever not been true. Yeah, no one ever really wanted peace and love, silly hippie girl. The only reason we sing about the home of the brave is we're afraid people will see us if we don't sing. If I was really brave, I'd sit down and eat my hot dog during the anthem, like I want to. Rumble. Uh, wow, that supernaturally big and dark thundercloud really came out of nowhere fast. Maybe we should think about giving peace and love a chance. Nah, that just man-made climate change in action, which is also something Americans don't believe in. <laughs> oh, you're going to wish you could not believe your way out of this. Gasp! It's God! Now hold on, we don't know that yet. Let's not jump to conclusions. Heaven won't wait. Get ready for a theological disaster of biblical proportions. Frankly, we're surprised God put up with homework for this long. Finish all the quests before May 17th, turn all new content. So God, I assume, is back. You know what that means? ka -ching, baby! Okay, I've had enough of your collective nonsense. You really that upset about us not being into peace and love and all that stupid stuff? That, and dogs being allowed in restaurants, people worshipping their cell phones. There being 8 million streaming services now. If I wanted humanity to pay for streaming subscription fees, I wouldn't have created commercially supported broadcast. And don't get me started about meme stocks, Elton fanboys, dad jokes, dad bods, dad everything. Hippie lettuce being legal. No, I'm cool with that. I created that to people would chill out. But you didn't. Now it is time for the Great Flood too, wetter and wilder. Ooh, that sounds fun. Like spring break for everyone. No, not like that at all. And if you're curious, yes, the God character is finally returning. But if you're curious about the character, I will leave a link in the description below and you can check them out. We've got uh, you, Temptation Guy. That's your name. I don't exactly remember your name. Temptation Snake. Oh wait, I think it's actually Temptation Serpent. We've also got Eve with the Garden of Eden, which is the premium character for this first week. We've got a mystery box, which means at least there's something in there I can buy. Mystery box tokens are back. Dunk the Monk. Shinto Shrine. Eh, not really too, too much else going on, unfortunately. I was hoping there would have been a character in there available, but maybe it'll be available in the mystery box. Let's check this out. Looking a little bit sparse, I'm not gonna lie. It's only a pharaoh god, and that's it. That's disappointing. Which means I have pretty much everything already. But Temptation Serpent. Which does cost real money. That's something I may end up getting. Possibly. With thirteen ninety nine Canadian, a little bit cheaper American, etc., etc. Now, 
on to the personal prizes. So Barnacle Bay Church, which is interesting. We just had an update called Barnacle Bay, or Shiver Me Barnacles, or something like that. And it was all about Barnacle Bay. When Marge and the family go back to her place where she went as a kid, and there was Yum Yum Fish, but 115 Forbidden Fruits, God Prepare the Flood, Springfielders Panic, Home will wonder if Gil is selling flood insurance. Uh, maybe Gil comes back, maybe he doesn't. Hint, hint, wink, wink. It's a major event, so probably. We also got a tree, more specifically the Tree of Knowledge. An NPC that will walk around, Gary the Unicorn, Springfield Cathedral, and at the very, very end, we get an outfit for Homer. It is Adam. Remember a second ago, we saw Eve, which is a premium character, like I said, for the wig. And that's the other one. They're, they're, they're a team, I guess you would say. So if you have one, try to get the other, I guess. At least that's what they're probably hoping you do. Well, yeah, that is the overview for this first wig. So we're going to be getting, obviously, heavily, heavily heaven things, so to speak. Also, I just realized there's an apple, which means Connie Appleseed can make an appearance. Spoiler, no, she doesn't. So if you're looking for Connie Appleseed, not happening this update. But let me know down below, what do you think of the overview of this first week? Are there any prizes that you think of as my shoulder pops? Please let me know. Subscribe for more tap down videos, and I will see you moving forward with possibly Temptation Serpent and more. And there's a lot more, believe me. In the... What is this whole update called? Heaven something? Let me think. Let me see. Heaven can wait, or can't wait. Something like that anyway. In the Simpsons tap down. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody!